hello welcome to Ely's channel and today we'll be talking about hormonal imbalance PCOS are you an active healer or are you a passive patient let's find out what this PCOS is all about okay uh, PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome and in our society today it is a very common syndrome or is a very common sickness among our women yes why i say it is because among our women we just don't know that we have uh, pcos and many people who do have it do not even know that they do have it and when they get to the hospital they are only going to tell them no you don't have your okay it's just that you have pcos there is nothing to worry about okay today i'm going to be discussing because the major problem that PCOS patients do face or from those that have hormonal imbalance do face is that they don't even realize that they have PCOS and those that realize only seek for supplements without really finding out the root cause of why they are having PCOS so today I'll be talking about PCOS major cause the root cause of PCOS so that at least when you take supplements or when you are acting uh, when you, you want to cure or treat PCOS you actually know the type of PCOS you're curing and what to use and cure it so what is the reason for you having PCOS what is the root cause why is your thyroid uh, falling apart why are you having hairs all over your body why are you not getting pregnant because of pcos all these are going to be discussed now and also the answer depends on the type the specific type of pcos that you have there are varieties of pcos but the problem wrong with pcos patients is just that the doctors and individuals that explain to them don't really give them full information about PCOS. They only ask, um, tell you that yes, you have cysts, I can see cysts, yeah, you have cysts, you have PCOS, but then they don't give you any exact solution to it. Okay, for you to even know that you have PCOS, you either run a blood test or you go for it on ultrasound. Yes, that's the only way you can find out you have PCOS and also there are different types of PCOS before you can treat any PCOS you need to know the type of PCOS you have the first type of PCOS is the insulin resistance PCOS this insulin resistance PCOS majorly it's, is, it's majorly caused by the diet that we eat yes the diet we eat is what triggers this insulin resistance PCOS because when you consume uh, excess carbohydrate or sugar, it gives it spikes the insulin level in our body, and that makes it uh, it just get out of hand. And the the symptoms that which insulin resistance patients do give is that they have they gain weight, excess of excessive hair, acne. Yeah, this is the the exact. Uh, symptom insulin in resistant patient to get so and the second type of PCOS that we have is the inflammation based um, PCOS so this inflammation based PCOS it does not show on their body in short if you see them they are just there like they are average like they are either normal they don't they are not overweight or they are even underweight so there are own cases that you don't physically see their symptoms. Even them, they might not even know that they have anything like that. But majority of PCOS patients only find out that as in what triggers them to go to the hospital to even know what is wrong with them is that they don't have a regular cycle. Yes, that is an irregular cycle or no ovulation. Yes. So this is what triggers them to even go to the hospital and when they go to the hospital they diagnose them with COS yes so people that are inflammation mostly is caused by it taking soya um, also what they eat yes what they eat also triggers them 
um, also triggers what happens to them yeah so yeah gluten and other stores yes inflammation of uh, um, PCOS is mostly caused and they don't even realize that yes that this is what causes that I'm having PCOS yes and the most of that most of the time they use vitamins to treat inflammation PCOS but it's not always it doesn't really work for everybody yes they use vitamins but vitamins does not always work for everybody like vitamins cannot work for an an insulin resistant um, PCOS person sometimes it do work depending on the kind of um, depending on the kind of PCOS you have so the third PCOS that we have is the synthetic hormone based um, PCOS yes this one is due cause due to uh, contraceptives uh, other um, birth control uh, other birth control measures yes uh, especially the ones that insert ring in the hand that insert pills and all of that when the person wants to conceive the person finds out that the uh, um, the cycle is no longer regular there is a change because the brain is actually trying to reconnect or the ovary is still trying to recover like I don't understand uh, is it time to give birth like you want to get pregnant and all of that and then at the end of the day the the ovary starts to malfunction your body starts to malfunction because there is that understanding that used to be there is no longer there it was stopped so at the end of the day PCOS comes in the person finds it difficult to get uh, pregnant again so that is the synthetic PCOS yes so how do we treat this PCOS how do we go about it like the insulin resistant PCOS if you uh, is normally treated with metformin yes and also sometimes we and we avoid sugar anything that has to do with sugar we try as much as possible to avoid anything that has to do with sugar exercise and also taking supplement magnesium supplement taking no sleep yes with that you can treat an insulin with that you can treat an insulin uh, PCOS yes I've already talked about treatment for uh, inflammation which is vitus which most of the time sometimes it do works and sometimes it does not and also for uh, generally generally a PCOS is a lifetime journey if you want to cure PCOS or if you want to manage PCOS you have to watch what you eat especially sugar you try as much as possible to avoid anything that has to do with sugar once you're able to do that you at least solve solve half of the problem you at least solve like 80 percent of the problem yes once you are able to avoid sugar carbohydrate anything that has to do with carbohydrate carbs you try as much as possible to avoid it and eat healthy and also exercise a lot exercise that's another thing for pcos it is a life a life a long life journey yeah it is a life journey which you have to follow yes you have to live a healthy life so um i have come to the end of this video i hope you learned uh, one or two things and you pick one of two things why i have to come to this video to teach about this pcos is that i realize that a lot of women go through this uh, problem hormonal imbalance but they don't even know how to talk about it or how to go about it so i came here to discuss about it because i have a little knowledge about it so i said let me share it with my fellow women so that if you have a hormonal imbalance or if you think you have or you're having hairs on your body or your period is not regular you can easily go to the hospital and check yourself to know the kind of pcos you have yes because the major cause the major problem with pcos is difficulty in seeing your um giving birth yes difficulty in getting pregnant uh irregular cycle 
and all of that so uh, it's always good to check yourself to know at least if you have PCOS and then it will help you to live a better life tomorrow so if you have any question you can ask me on the comment section yes I will be gladly answer your question and also don't fail to subscribe to this channel because you'll be getting more and more information from me thank you very much